Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's online class. The focus of this lesson is the formulation of study tool objectives. The study tool objectives are the selection of study tool resources, which is essential basis and ultimate goal of designing study tool courses. They are also the specific goals to be achieved during the study tool itself. They specify the expectations for students. Through the study of study tool activities, in terms of moral, intellectual, physical, aesthetic, and labor development to achieve, the content of the study tool is aimed at achieving the study tool objectives. At the same time, the content of the study tool also influences the formulation of the study tool objectives. Generally, before designing. Specific study tool content, the study tool objectives must be clarified. The determination of study tool objectives is a process of exploring, summarizing, and improving various pieces of information. In the process of formulation, the three-dimensional objectives and the basic content principles should be followed, and according to standardized requirements. Expression should be structured. Study tool objectives are influenced by various factors, such as time, geography, history, society, policy, and economy. When formulating study objectives, these factors should be considered, and for different schools and academic stages, different needs, even for study tool activities on the same topic, their study objectives may differ. We usually divide the basis for clear study objectives into schools' established objectives, academic stage analysis, study tool course content, and characteristic of study tool course content resources. First, the established goal of the first school is to conduct preliminary investigations into the school's curriculum needs. To understand the purpose of organizing study courses, which is to cultivate students' correct attitudes towards labor and foster a positive work ethic, as well as develop good work habits and qualities, this is usually formulated by the schools based on its own circumstances and characteristics, and is the fundamental starting point. For the school to carry out, through the study of school-established objectives, by decomposing and expanding or sublimating it, can successfully complete the formulation of study tool objectives. For example, for the nationally awarded course number one, widening path of Taihang Little Eight Route, the school's established objectives include. Cultivating students' correct life views, positive work spirits, and fostering good habits and qualities. Second, academic stage analysis. Most students have formed relatively good study habits. However, some students' study habits are not adequate. Homework tends to be procrastinated. Attention in class easily disperses. It is challenging to listen attentively. For certain students, there are significant differences in both their physical and cognitive development. When formulating study tool objectives, we should consider the knowledge reserves, life experiences, and abilities of the study targets to ensure alignment with the objectives. Third, study tool course content. In study courses. The relationship between course content design and objective formulation is unique. The formulation of study tool objectives, to a certain extent, relies on the study tool course content, while the design of study tool course content is guided by the objectives. 
both influence each other and rely on each other, forming a dual spiral development. When formulating field study course objectives, consider whether the content of the field study course can provide the objective conditions necessary for achieving the field study objectives. If achieving the field study course objectives is extremely difficult, then the formulation of field study course objectives may be impractical and require adjustment. Four, characteristics of study tool resources. The characteristics of study tool resources need to be combined with the characteristics of the study destinations resources. One of the significant features of study tour courses is the variety of study locations, each providing diverse study tour course content. When formulating study tour objectives, we should fully consider the attributed and the characteristics of the course location. That is, whether the research course location to complete the research course objectives. Has the knowledge and the teaching conditions? How to determine the content of study tool objectives formulation? We divide it into three aspects: knowledge, abilities, knowledge. The knowledge learned through study tool courses includes subject knowledge, social common sense, natural principles, etc. When formulating objectives. We need to clarify knowledge that students need to master, the scope and depth during the study tool process to guide students in effective learning. Abilities. It refers to the abilities cultivated and enhanced through study tool courses, including cognitive abilities, social skills, practical abilities, self care abilities, etc. First. The design should consider three-dimensional objectives and highlight comprehensiveness. Three-dimensional objectives are not three separate objectives, but rather three dimensions of objectives, which we need to include in the course plan. In fact, as the overall objectives of each study tour activity. Different resources, different targets, and different learning formats lead to different course objectives. The first dimension is knowledge and skills: what and how to do. The second dimension is processes and methods: how to conduct activities. The third dimension is emotional attitudes and values. What significance does it have for individual students, from one-dimensional cognition to three-dimensional cognition, is a process from shallow cognition to deep cognition. Considering three-dimensional objectives, highlighting the characteristics of comprehensive practical activities, covering value experiences, responsibility, problem solving, innovation, etc. Second, the expression should be concise and clear, emphasizing practicality. Concise and clear expression can help students and teachers clearly understand the objectives of the course, thus better guiding the study tool process. Through practice, students can better integrate theoretical knowledge with practical situations. Cultivating students' hands-on ability and problem-solving ability, effectively guiding students' learning and growth during the study tool. Students, what do you think about objectives of the field study program, the basis for its formulation, for the formulation of course objectives, the impact it have? Today's class ends here. See you next time.